political climate that we're in, that it's such an attack on women. And I actually believe that it's, this is actually quite a dangerous time for women because I think the younger generations or whoever actually think we've got it all and we haven't. And actually what we need to be doing is holding on to what other women have fought for over the years. What I take away from the NAW is a, is a view into parts of the world that I'm not involved in. So that within my job, there are certain tasks that I have to do and certain things I need to understand well. But coming to meetings like this, I understand and learn about a whole variety of areas that I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable about. And I get a depth of knowledge that would be quite impossible um, in other ways. And I came here, didn't know what to expect. And I think I've only missed two years since then because it's a wonderful weekend for socialising, which is very important for women. It's a wonderful weekend to meet all my sisters, but it's a great weekend for finding out what my politics are. So I think it's more prevalent actually the NAW exists today than say it did in 52 when it first started. The contribution of some of the women here means that I have a very good understanding that is delivered in a sisterly way. The National Assembly of Women is not a massive organisation, but it has so many varied women involved in it from different walks of life, different experiences. So when you do come together, as we will be doing this weekend for our annual general meeting, you can learn about the activities that other women have been involved in. We are part of a, the Women's International Democratic Federation, so that's a worldwide federation of women's organisations. In 1952, when the NAW was formed, and um, there was an NAW group in Mossad in Manchester where I lived then. They took a coach trip out into the country of children from the streets around where I lived for a full day out and then I can recall having a Christmas party uh, in the Salvation Army Hall and I can remember um, my mother um, getting involved with a group of women from the NAW who were going to visit Florence Horsburgh who was our Tory MP then uh, because we were writing our lessons on toilet paper at school and they went in protest and there was a number of things like that. The sisters who came, we became you know, good, good mates if, if you like. Barbara Switzer and Terry Marsden. Wortley I think is very special to National Assembly of Women members because many of us come together here, we're given the hospitality of Wortley Hall. Many of us are members of Wortley and own shares in Wortley. Um, and so there's that unique connection between the National Assembly of Women and Wortley Hall. And it's their anniversary this year, 60th anniversary, and the National Assembly of Women's 60th anniversary in 2012. So we are bound together by those things as well as our love of, of this area. One of the things we do, apart from elect our executive, is we have motions. Um, on things that are really relevant to, to women. One of the motions this weekend, for instance, is on pensions. Well, as you can imagine, that, that's really important to women in the UK today. Pension of poverty is a huge problem. Uh, one of the motions last year uh, was on the public cuts and how they affected women, uh, because women could really, really come unstuck with all the cuts that are being made and women's health, those sort of issues. We discuss um, abortion rights. We've had a speakers from abortion rights. We've had speakers from all over the world, really. Uh, interna we always, always, there's always an international speaker who attends, and that's absolutely fantastic. It's a good experience for people that come from different countries to exchange views. Um, it's not surprising that uh, you find out that what's going on in our countries is practically the same. Because you know, we realise it's not just about us in the UK, that it's about women all over the world who are having serious problems and trying to make their mark. You find out that who pays for it? Uh, are women and uh, working women and working men of low classes? This is uh, part of the old uh, left women's network that was formed just after the Second World War. Uh, we recognise that there was huge uh, inequality in the world, that women were bearing the brunt of all the problems and getting very little of the uh, positive action. We came together, we decided we'd had enough, uh, you know, we had a different agenda from that being imposed by men and the male hierarchy that runs the world and it's still as relevant today as it was then. I remain inspired, that's the most important thing, I'm inspired to continue to fight for 
um, women to achieve their aspirations. There is a depth and a level of thinking and contribution from members that is quite different from other organisations, so that attending a meeting like today's AGM, for instance, gives you a perspective which is so valuable, um, so interesting. I would like to see a lot of more young women involved in NAW. I think the NAW has an excellent agenda. I would say to young people today, if you val value um, what you want from life, then you need to be together and make sure it's not destroyed by people who have a different agenda or have a different ambition for themselves. Um, and you can only do that if you, you understand the issues and you're prepared to discuss the issues and, and become involved.